Welcome! I will share my process and tips for creating an anthropomorphic fruit character. First of all, anthropomorphism is a drawing technique of using non-human entities, objects, animals, plants, and concepts to create a character. It is a useful drawing method to create human characters adapted from various creatures like animals and objects like flowers, food, etc. I can create a character from any object, plant, or animal by anthropomorphism. There are plenty of tutorials about drawing characters. I recommend you read and watch them to know more about drawing characters. Also, please read the official clips to your paint apes and tutorials for character art so you will know the step-by-step -step process. I leave the link below. You may click them and read through. Choose the best process and drawing method that is more suitable for you. I hope you enjoy your drawing process. Searching for inspiration. Think of your favorite things or foods and concepts to stimulate your imagination. Searching for inspiration is a practical method to assist you in deciding the things you can use for anthropomorphism. If you like to create a character using fruit, search for fruit, or for the specific thing you like to better, visualize the colors and form of the object. There's several online search engine platforms that will provide you with several diverse photos for your reference. Creating a color set Choose colors based on your inspiration or references. You may choose the colors from the reference or color schemes of your preference. You may also create your own color set. In this succeeding video, I'm going to teach you how to create a color set in Clip Studio Paint. Click Window, then Color Set. Under the color set, click the wrench icon. The edit color set will appear on your workspace. On the edit color set, click create new set, then new color set. Rename the new color set based on your preference. I rename it strawberry colors. Click OK if you're done. A new color set will appear on the panel. Click the empty box. Then click a color on the color settings. Note, you may drag the cursor and slide it to choose different gradients of your color. Click OK if you're done. Click the add color icon. Repeat the process to create a color set. For my drawing, I create a color palette of strawberry. Create a sketch of your character. The sketch process is important in deciding the pose, form, and outfit of your character. It will assist in visualizing the form of a figure. A rough sketch doesn't need to be perfect. You are free to sketch based on your desired process, imagination, or reference. I recommend reading and watching tutorials about the step-by-step -step process if you like to know more. In my drawing, I use an airbrush and a dark color from my color set, hex color number 200100. Take note that a human figure has a face with eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, hair, hands, limbs, and trunk. Take note of the human parts to add to your desired character. Please do more research and study human anatomy figure. Practice sketching in various perspectives or poses if you prefer more complex poses. Draw the basic parts and the things you will include on the character. Coloring. Look at your reference photos and recall the features of your reference before coloring. Observe the color, shadows, lighting, details, and patterns. Color adequacy and accuracy are important to capture the character or feature of a specific object, element, creature, or concept. Indeed, to paint a human form of a non-human entity, the colors play a significant role. Moreover, the colors are important to create a resemblance of an object. 
choose a color palette, you may use the color palette in coloring your drawing from your color set. In my drawing, I created a color set of a strawberry. I discussed the process of creating a color set in the first part of the video. Before coloring, you may adjust the opacity of your sketch by navigating the opacity bar. Coloring the face. I choose a skin tone color from my color set, hex color number FFT6D8 to color the face. I use the scale and rotate and mesh transformation tool to transform and reshape the areas to form the desired shape and parts of the face. Scale and rotate assist in resizing, rotating, and moving the shape of the figure. Mesh transformation tool is useful in transforming the edges and morphing the shape or figure. Color the parts of the face. I draw and color the eyes, nose, mouth, and eyebrows on separate folders and layers. Tip. Use separate folders and rename them to organize your layers and to easily look for the parts. I added shadows on the face using an airbrush with a darker color of a skin tone. I use the Blend J tool to blend the colors. See, you may use the subtools of the blend tool and liquify, diffuse, and correct the color mixture. You can freely use the subtool blend and navigate the tool property of your desired subtools. Next part of the video, I'm going to discuss about the subtools blend. The blend tool allows you to blend colors. The blur tool allows you to blur the colors and blend them. The copy stamp allows you to copy colors from your canvas and blend them. Fingertip allows you to blend and stretch the colors.
Painterly Blender allows you to blend colors with brush texture. Textured Blender allows you to blend colors with texture. Wet Bleed Blender allows you to blend colors with wet-like effects. I color the hair with dark red color hex number 640500. I added a new raster layers to add details and textures to the hair. Then I click the layers and clip to the layer below. Note when you click the clip to layer below, the red bar will appear beside the layer. I changed the blending mode of the layers above the hair. The first layer, layer 19, above is in multiply mode for the hair shadow and dark highlights. The second and third layers are for the light hair highlights. Tip, change the blending mode to create hair strands and highlights. Tip, use the blend tools to create textures. Coloring the upper body parts, remember that human parts like the hands, limbs, and trunk play important roles in the pose and the body language of characters. I draw the hands and arms on a new folder and raster layers. Tip, separate the folders of the limbs, trunk, and hands to quickly find the parts and to conveniently polish your drawings without disturbing the other parts of your character. I added shadows on the hands and arms with an airbrush using a darker color. I clipped the layers below and changed the blending mode to multiply. Tip, add shadows on the hands to create volume and shape on the hands and arms. The clothes play a significant role to enhance the character. Clothes can create an attractive impression of a specific object, concept, or animal. I color the sleeves, upper garment, and skirt with red to create similar characteristics to a strawberry. Then I added shadows and clipped the layers below. I changed the blending mode to multiply to darken the shadows on the skirt. I added the white dots on the skirt by adding a new layer and clip the layer below to create an impression of seeds like on the strawberry. I color the lower limbs and the shoes red, hex color number 980700. Then I add shadows and some details on a new layers and clip the layers below. Adding accessories to create the impression of a leaf on top of the strawberry, I added a beret on top of the hair and color it green, hex color number 456900. I added shadows and highlights in gray on the new layers and clip the layers below. There are a lot of drawing techniques and methods to draw anthropomorphic characters. Choose what is suitable for you. Lastly, enjoy and keep learning. I hope you learn from my tips. Your support, like and share are highly appreciated. Thank you.